back to the NRS on Africa Cup Series. So we have Seth Cole on the pole once again for 25 laps at Auto Club Speedway. Chris Washer, Indianapolis winner, starting third today. So we're getting closer to the chase. Some of these guys are really wanting a win. Kyle Austin, Seth Cole. Some of these guys down in the points want to win. You know, some, some of these guys' time is running out. You know, two more races after this one and, and it's over. As right now, Kyle Austin's going to lead lap number one. Now, fuel strategy may be an issue. And Chris Washer has turned already on lap number one. That is about it. Everybody else looks like they avoid it, but Chris Washer goes around. Looks like probably from an incident with the going four wide, not giving enough room. That's what it usually is here at Auto Club. Is DJ Curtis and Kyle Austin battling for the lead, coming to into turns three and four. And coming back to the line, it's going to be a good photo finish here. This is a good, it's sometimes a good run on the outside could help you, but it's not going to be enough for DJ as he's going to come back second. And Kyle Austin's going to lead us back to the caution flag. We'll be right back to take a closer look at what happened. So yeah, here it was. Washer just didn't, he thought he was mainly clear. And once he tried cutting back down left, he was already too late. And he just gets into Seth Cole. Minor, minor damage. As everybody looks to avoid the wreck, which is really good. It doesn't look like much damage done to the three. Nope, looks like none at all. So we'll take you back green. All right, guys. Kyle Lawson is uh, first was first out of pit road. You got Dace Jason Trost, Dylan Schwellenberg, Harrison Ponder. Um, it's supposed to, or Robert's last race was actually in Indianapolis. So, um, yeah, I was, I was making sure that was enough laps, or for no, or enough races. But, uh, anyway, it's back green here, Kyle Austin. I remember, he was actually doing pretty decent in the first half of the season. Now, once he kind of got around towards, like, I believe FTF, where basically everybody crashed. Lost a lot of momentum for some teams. And our only two-time winner, by the way, is in 19th in points. That's crazy. That's that's uh, somewhat of a sign of a, a little bit of inconsistency there. Um... We're looking for our second two-time winner on the season, possibly. Now we'll open up spots for chase members, or for non-winners, to make it to the chase. As Jason Tross is holding this lead over Schwellenberg and Austin, somehow. It looks like Schwellenberg might get the run going into three this time around. We have Phil Chambers, we haven't even talked about him that much, and he's sixth in points. And he he got he got probably one of, he he saved enough fuel and he got probably a lucky win at uh at Thornton and that's what locked him into the chase. We're seeing some good racing here. Harrison Ponder looking hasn't been racing in a while due to his injury sustained. I believe either an FTF yeah an FTF. Trost, a replacement for the 10. Originally it was James Shelley. Then uh, went to James Shelley went lost her ride for one race. Went back to the 43 for Dylan Poteet. And now is uh back in the 43. Oh yeah, now is in the 43 and then uh Trost takes the 10 and we have another caution. It looks like this is the bigger one. Oh yes, it is. Mark Caminaro upside down. A huge crash. Wow, Cavanaro is stuck on his side. And is Schwellenberg going to get a run and see if he can 
Try and battle for the lead coming to the line. He will not stay right behind Tross as Tross is leading us back. So we'll take you back to show what happened to put Cabanaro on the side and a bunch of cars wrecked out of this race. So the wreck happens all the way up to in the sixth position and it ends up getting in the drivers like him back in 32nd get involved. So it happens with Ash Curtis, the same incident that happened uh, with Chris Washer. DJ Curtis, everybody just getting piled in on the high side, nowhere to go. Kyle Thomas gets a piece of it, and Mark Cavanaugh just gets cars toppled on top of him, and he just stays up there in, on the on the uh, safer barrier and the uh, catch fence. So let's run on board with Cavanaro, as we were probably we probably lost that camera for the twenty. Yes, we did. And there goes our camera. But wow, a crazy crash. Cavanaro went for a wild ride. As a bunch of damaged cars taken out of this race. This will take you back to the green flag. So Luke Walker, the first off pit road. Then you have Harrison Ponder, Phil Chambers, Gabe Williams, Drew Austin, LG Mills, Ash Curtis, and Kyle Austin. Where's Trost? Trost is restarting 14th in, on this restart. Wow. Luke Walker already has a... Oh, wow, my bad. I meant to press uh, arrows. My bad. Oh, my God, I did it again. Yeet. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, Luke Walker already has a win at Daytona. As these guys are going to look to get around the lap car of Jamax. It's going to be a wild restart here. Look at Renzi to the inside. And I think Renzi's... Oh, Renzi's not leading. Never mind. Renzi's a lap down. My bad. But look at this. Chevys are in the top four right now, as I can see. I don't know if the top five. Nope. Never mind. Drew Austin wanting a win. Look at the top three bunched together. Coming off of four. Phil Chambers looks to the inside, but Drew Austin looks lower. They're going to be three wide for the lead going into one. Drew Austin making the power move on the inside, knows that that's the preferred line, and he's going to take the lead. It's three Hendrick cars are in the top three. We're missing the 48 Alamas here. As we're going to have nine to go at the line, can Drew Austin bring his first win of the season and lock himself into the chase. He's been doing well lately and a caution here will be probably too early but he'll like it. Less laps to defend uh, his teammates but his teammates are not giving up. Phil Chambers wants a second win and LJ Mills wants his first. Look at this. Drew Austin has a fast car right now. I don't know. It's going to be tough for somebody to try. But it looks like LJ is going to try it. It's eight to go. Gabe Williams, look at this. Gabe Williams is going to try and take and blow the Hendrick party. As he's going to take second. And again, Drew Austin holding off the pack behind him. I have no idea how he's doing it, but he's doing it. He wants this win as badly as any as bad as anybody else who does not have a win. LJ coming so close, but you know he might even make it off points. He's tenth in points right now. And I don't know, we may have one more caution that could end the race. Look at this, a run by Gabe on the inside. He's almost side by side with him. 
Look at this, Kyle Matthews into the picture now. And Gabe's looking low. There he goes. I don't know, this is gonna be interesting here. Coming to the line, six laps to go. Photo finish, it was Drew Austin, but I think he's gonna lose it this time around. No help on the bottom, but it doesn't matter. Luke Walker and Harrison Ponder in the wall. No caution. This is going to make a big pack. And now Drew Austin back in second. Gabe Williams looking for his second win in the season. Two. This could be a second two-mile win. He won the first one in Michigan. Back at race four. Five to go. Drew Austin waiting for the right time to go low. Is he going to look now or is he going to stay right behind him? No, he actually gets really loose going into one. Oh, that's going to hurt. That really hurt Drew right there. He, he overdrove it just to stay behind the 19. But it wasn't enough. And now he's going to lose a lot of positions here. Now LJ Mills goes to the inside. Drew Austin seeing what he can do. He's going to go three wide. Kyle Matthews goes with him. Are they going to go four wide? They're trying it as LJ Mills goes to the lead, but Drew Austin is not giving up. Man, this kid's a good race car driver right here. Drew Austin. Coming back in the Cup Series. And he's looking for his first win as he's... Looks like LJ's coming down pit road. A lot of guys coming down pit road. Is that going to be the deciding factor of this race? Look at Washer. He's back up in the top five after being turned in the first caution of the day. That just shows that you can you can start last and finish first. That's what he basically had. He started third, but he got pushed back all the way in last place because of a spin. And it looks like Drew Austin is coming down pit road. There he goes. Will these guys save enough fuel? Look at Washer now. I think he might even have enough because of when he pit early on. Can Washer grab his second win on the season? If he can, that would be incredible. Right now, you got the top five of Chris Washer, Kyle Matthews, Mary Stevens, Gabe Williams, and James Shelley. Look at Tross looking. But it looks like they are staying out for the white flag. One more time around. Right here, they're going to race back no matter what. Look at Matthews to the inside. And Washer gets really loose on the high side. Washer trying to keep that high side going, and he does. Down the back stretch they go for the final time. Washer gets a great run down the back stretch, and he's going to hold off Matthews. Or is so is he. Gabe Williams coming down on the final lap, but it won't matter. Coming off a of four down the front stretch, Chris Wash is going to go back to back, and he's going to win at Auto Club. Wow. What a finish. Gabe Williams, I think he knew he was going to get auto, auto ninth finish. What a finish. Chris Washer saves enough fuel as he takes the checkered flag for the second time this season, back-to-back -back wins. So we have our second two-time winner in Chris Washer, and it comes late in the season as back-to-back -to -back wins for the three-team. That's going to bring them within maybe even the top five in points.
and are finishing results. Nine cars finished on the lead lap due to these guys not even taking a pit stop. Look at that. We said, look at the Hendrick cars, one, two, three, and we couldn't find Lamas. There he is running. He finished sixth today. That's a great run for that 48 team. A much needed one. As they're looking to maybe get the win at Charlotte. As that's where he's really dominant, especially in the DuPont Cup Series. And road courses. <laughs> so, um... I have nothing else to say, really. Everybody finished the lap down. Unfortunate for Dylan Young, once again, a bad finish. Still has not gotten a loose top five yet. Neither has Henry Nova, and he's fifth in points. That'll most likely change. Well, anyway, guys, we'll see you guys at Charlotte. After that, we have one more race, and we got a homestead to see who's going to make the chase. Right now, I'm going to count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spots already taken. Wait, I want to make sure that's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 11 spots taken for the chase. So, who will be the next? As we head to Charlotte, there will be at least two spots for point driver for points drivers. As we'll see who they are come race 15. As we'll see you guys at Charlotte for the next race. We'll see you guys then. Thank you all for watching.